everyone. Welcome to N-Academy once again. This is Deepak Krishna, MEM, ME Structural Engineering AMI. I'm a verified educator. So in today's lesson, we are back yet again with another test of fresh concrete. But this is a very sweet and special test because this is not much covered in the Indian standards. Okay. So this is the Kelly Ball test and let's see why it is not much covered and also how it is performed. So don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of N-Academy. Also follow us on the app and the website of N-Academy. So let's find out. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a great day. So we are back yet again with another test in the Fresh Concrete series on the Fresh Concrete course. So previously in the lessons we have seen some of the important tests like slum cone test, compaction factor test, VB test, test for bleeding and, and some of the important tests also. And today we are going to see yet another test for Fresh Concrete, the Kelly Ball test. So usually this test is not so much covered in the Indian standards and also it's not much practiced uh, much in our country. Okay, so let's see why and before that let's have some basic facts. Okay, so basic facts for Kelly Ball is very interesting. It requires a little bit of history so let's dive into the timeline. So first and foremost, Kelly Ball test is a field test. Okay, this, this is not much used in the laboratory. So this is a field test that was developed in the 1950s in the United States. Okay, so this test was named after a person known as J.W. Kelly. Okay, he was the one who put forward about this test and this apparatus. So this was named after Mr. J.W. Kelly. Okay, so once again, this is a field test and it was developed in the United States. Okay, so as we all know, almost all the fresh concrete test measures the workability of the concrete in one way or another. Okay, so workability itself is a very complex property for, to explain actually. That means it's a property which indicates diverse requirements like stability, mobility, compactability, placeability, and finishability. So all the uh, tests that we do here uh, doesn't indicate workability, doesn't indicate workability as a whole. Okay, so it it indicates only work, some of the aspects of the workability, and also it show it indicates the workability in different angles. Okay, so this test indicates the consistency about the concrete so mainly about the consistency of the concrete okay also the workability in some extent all right so so this as i mentioned before this is not covered in indian standards as i mentioned in my intro video the one of the most speciality of the kelly ball test is that this has not been covered in the indian standards so let's see why it is not much covered so first and foremost for the workability test the main de facto test what we all do is the slum cone test all right, so this Kelly Ball test was introduced as an alternate for the slum cone test because uh, the reasons was, uh, was proposed was that the Kelly Ball test is very easy to do, very fast to do. Actually, it can be done within 15 seconds. Okay, if, to take one reading, that's enough. And also the apparatus is very simple. It, it is easy, easy to carry and it is very handy. And it does not require much expertise to do this test, to perform the test actually, not to interpret the test. There's a difference in that. Okay. So this was done as an alternative for the slum cone test and also it was claimed that in some regions or in some timeline uh, the, this test provides more precise uh, results than the slum cone test. Okay, so these were some of the claims at those times. So slum cone test was standardized by ASTM C360 okay, during the 1992 but in the 1999 revision they just cancelled out uh, that the, that ASTM C360 was not much imp implemented much because of the lack of usage of this test because people doesn't trust in this test anymore in those times and also this test is not much used outside in the USA nowadays so uh, the basic uh, information about this test is formed at the ASTM C360 and also because of the lack of the usage of this test this test couldn't get into other places. Okay, it couldn't get its popularity in other places like slum cone test. All right, so that's one of the reasons that Indian standard doesn't follow it, and also, and also some of the other disadvantages also. But let's see what are the uh, application for this test. I mean the application range for this test. So the applicable application range of concrete for this test is the same consistency as of the slump test. Okay, so in in almost all the consistency where you can do the slump test, you can perform this. Kelly ball test also so and also Kelly ball test can be uh, done can be performed on the special concretes too all right so it was it is faster than slum cone test so these are some of the facts actually that is uh, it can be done in all consistencies where the slum cone test can be done and also that it is applicable for the special concretes and also is faster than the slum test okay so these are the real facts about the Kelly ball test not the claims as I said before okay now let's move on to the 
yeah once again f sendia so comes again but from the special concrete also now let's see why some of the disadvantages of this test okay so to perform the kelly ball test one of the major uh, drawback or one of the major requirement of the kelly ball test is that you need huge amount of concrete for it okay so the minimum depth of the depth of the concrete should be 20 cm that is 200 mm and also the minimum distance from the nearest edge of the concrete should be 23 cm so this is a, some of the impractical situations in the real life conditions because if the concrete is used in the thin sections this test cannot be performed okay so that's it one of the impracticalities of the a kelly ball test if the concrete thickness is very thin or is thinner than 20 cm this test does not give any result okay so and also if the size of the uh, aggregates coarse aggregates increase the precision of the test decreases so which means that this doesn't provide much information or much precise information if the coarse aggregate size increases all right so that's some of the drawbacks so these were the two major drawbacks where indian standard couldn't i mean it didn't uh, took the kelly ball test into its leaves okay so how so hope you understand why it is not in the indian standard so these are some of the information that i got uh, when i did a research on kelly ball test just to do this lesson okay now let's uh, move on to the apparatus so apparatus for that kelly ball test is very simple it's just one apparatus that's a kelly ball apparatus that's it okay now let's see how the apparatus look like so this is how a uh, kelly ball apparatus looks like okay so this is my drawing i hope it's legible and you can understand what is there so this is the kelly ball okay or the ball this is the ball that used to penetrate or that used for the sinking in the uh, on the concrete on the concrete in the concrete matrix okay so this has almost 152 mm in diameter and also it weighs between 30.6 to 14 kg okay and also it has another frame to attach the ball so here is the frame and this is the graduated stem okay that connects the handle and the ball okay so these are the graduations where you can take the readings now this is the handle where you can handle the kelly ball and uh, i mean the entire apparatus and also you can use for the penetration purpose okay so i hope you understand the entire uh, setup for the kelly ball apparatus and this is this is it all right so now let's move on to the procedure the procedure is very simple actually Uh, first and foremost a good mass of concrete is required that's a basic requirement for us the test sample should be really good mass and one of the advantage of kelly ball test in that perspective is that it can be done on the site itself okay if the concrete is placed just there you you doesn't need any tray or uh, just like any other safety equipments to do that just in that um, hopper or maybe in that uh, small container that we used to uh, transport the sim uh, concrete the kelly ball test can be performed in that also but you need the concrete in a huge amount minimum of 20 cm hope you remember that so so we have for so we need a good mass of concrete now the surface of the concrete is struck off well so that it can create a small undulation and there is no further working is done on that because the test sample now now keep the ball on the now take the apparatus place it just about hold it just about the uh, concrete surface okay now allow the ball to gradually lower into the concrete matrix all right now uh, it has to be uh, no it, should, it has to be uh, driven down with the help of the gravity not we should not get given a push okay it should go down naturally now once the sinking is over the depth of the penetration is recorded to the nearest 6 mm so from where it is recorded it is recorded from the graduated stem okay so at least uh, three measurement has to be taken so these measurements are known as the kelly ball penetration values okay so there is no much standards available for the test to interpret for, uh, for the in, in, from the indian standards so that's why we cannot predict i mean so that we cannot interpret much satisfactorily about the kelly ball test results so at least but from some of the thesis papers and some of the things they they experimented um, they come to the conclusion that the value of the slump is 1.1 to 2 times the kelly ball values so they try to correlate the values of slump and the kelly ball because slump is one of those uh, universally accepted test for the uh, test uh, test that measures the workability of the concrete or just just for the one of the most important tests for the fresh concrete okay so scientists or the researchers try to correlate these values to relate these values of the slump value and the kelly ball value and with a lot of trial and error method they came to conclusion that value of the slump okay the slump value is 101 to 2 times the kelly ball values so somehow they got the relation between the kelly ball and the uh, slump as 
this one okay so i hope you understand today's lesson uh, this is a very uh, a bit different topic today which is not much uh, covered in the indian standards so there is no much interpretation for the results is possible so i hope you un uh, understand the lesson okay so thank you once again for tuning in i comment uh, please uh, comment your suggestions please read my presentation and please recommend and share the slides and this is my profile link to the an academy profile you can see the other works that i have done based on the fresh conc uh, fresh concrete the in ingredients of the concrete like coarse aggregate and fine aggregate and cement and also all the lab tests for all those ingredients has been uh, explained over there in the simplest fashion okay so i wish you a great day ciao